The Use of Eugenics in Creating a Tattered Society Introduction Eugenics, a theory that gained prominence in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, advocates for improving the genetic quality of a human population through selective breeding. This report explores the application of eugenics, the creation of a tattered society, composed of elites and plebs. In this scenario, eugenics is used to enhance the intelligence and control of the elite class, while the plebeian class are diluted and made more submissive through selective immigration and genetic manipulation. The two-tiered society. Elites and plebs. In this society, there exists a clear division between the elite class, who hold power, wealth, and influence, and the plebeian class, who perform the majority of labor, and are subjected to the will of the elites. The elites are characterized by their superior intelligence, education, and genetic makeup, which are systematically enhanced through eugenic practices, the plebs. On the other hand, are intentionally kept in a state of submission, with their intelligence and assertiveness diluted through carefully managed immigration and breeding practices, enhancing the intelligence of the elites. Eugenics is employed to ensure that the elite class remains intellectually superior and capable of maintaining control over the broader society. This involves selective breeding, encouraging reproduction among members of the elite class who possess high intelligence, creativity and leadership qualities, Genetic screening and artificial selection is used to identify and propagate traits deemed beneficial from maintaining the elite's dominance. Genetic engineering, utilizing advancements in genetic engineering, such as CRISPR technology, to enhance cognitive abilities, physical health, and other desirable traits within the elite class. This ensures that the elites continue to outpace the plebs in intellectual and physical capabilities. Exclusive education and resources, providing the elites with access to superior educational institutions, resources, and opportunities, thereby further widening the gap between them and the plebeian class. This systemic advantage is designed to perpetuate the dominance of the elite class across generations, diluting the plebeian class through immigration and genetic manipulation to ensure that the plebeian class remains submissive and easy to control. Eugenics is applied in the following ways. Selective immigration, implementing immigration policies that favor the entry of individuals with traits that align with submissiveness, passivity, and lower intelligence. This involves targeting populations from regions with cultural norms that emphasize obedience to authority and discouraging critical thinking or rebellion controlled reproduction, encouraging higher birth rates among the immigrant population with submissive traits, while discouraging reproduction among native plebeians who may possess more assertive or rebellious characteristics. This gradually shifts the demographic makeup of the plebeian class towards a more manageable and compliant population. Cultural integration and indoctrination, actively promoting cultural assimilation that reinforces submissiveness and discourages dissent within the plebeian class. Education and media is used as tools to shape the worldview of the plebs, making them more likely to accept their lower status without resistance. The role of eugenics in maintaining control. In society, the use of eugenics serves as a tool for maintaining control over the plebeian class by the elites. The deliberate manipulation of the genetic and cultural makeup of the plebs ensures that they remain less intelligent, less assertive, and more willing to accept their subjugation. This, in turn, allows the elites to consolidate power and perpetuate their dominance without the threat of significant resistance. Conclusion The use of eugenics to manipulate and control populations is a dangerous path that history has shown leads to widespread suffering and injustice. Societies must reject any attempt to engineer human populations through these means and instead focus on policies that promote the well-being and dignity of all individuals, regardless of their genetic makeup or social status.